Well, here's another little test for you guys on the Jackery 1000. I'm plugging everything into it I can. This is a full-size Mr. Coffee. And it is making coffee. It's been running about a minute already. And it never went above that many watts. This is a Jackery 1000, so I understand it can jump up to like 11 or 1200 watts before shutting off. And it has, it has like a 2000 watt initial startup. So, I can make 12 cups of coffee with a Mr. Coffee Maker. This thing has not quit. It's right around 780 watts. I'm going to go plug in my wife's hair dryer. Before I try the hair dryer, I want to make a note. When it stopped pumping the water, uh, it, watch. There, it jumped up again. It, it goes down to nothing, but when the heating element to keep the coffee hot, apparently those don't just stay on. They, they bump up and down. Because um, the coffee maker never quit. The light is on. See? It just cycled for a second to keep that little heating element down there going. But it never missed a beat. So... The 1000 uh, Jackery can totally handle a full-on Mr. Coffee. Now I'm going to do that hair dryer. Okay, I got uh, two fans going here. And it's only 55 watts. Both are on. So it's nothing to blow a fan. She's using the hairdryer right now, so I thought I'd try this out. So you can put as many fans in here as you want. You got another plug there. <laughs> you want to run three of them. Okay, back on these fans, I've got an interesting observation. Hear this fan? It's plugged into the wall. Let me hear, hear the noise. You definitely don't hear it blowing as hard, even as a single unit. That's slightly lower, a simple little fan. And it's only pulling 33 watts, so what gives there? This is 100% pure sine wave, 110 volts to, maybe this is a more than 110 volts. I don't know. But look, listen when I plug it in. Are you ready? We'll plug it into the wall. Oh yeah. More air, more noise, faster fan. So here's an interesting thing for you right there. Okay guys, we've got the hair dryer now. Now, my wife is saying it's an 1875, but it doesn't say it on there. So I don't know, but we're gonna plug it in. Turn the power on. Fan comes on for a second. Couple of watts for the inverter. Plug it in. <clears throat> now I'm going to start this off slow. I know that 18. I know it would probably kill it. Let me take a seat here. I know it would probably kill it if I went full on. So let's. Uh, it's got turbo and regular. Uh, here low. Low speed, and then I'm going to go to cool. Okay. And then we'll we'll find out what happens. So let's go to low speed, and I'll show you the watts. 110, 114 watts, 110 on uh, on cool fan. So let's put some heat to it now. 100 watts. I'm going to go 
same low fan speed, and I'm going to go to warm. Where is it? Right there. Right here, warm. Okay, let's, let me put it on the watch here. Okay, we see a bump there, don't we? The fan didn't slow down any. The fan's still going. Same speed. Now before I go to high temperature, let's change the speed of the fan. All right, we're gonna change the, feet, the speed of the fan here. Where's that at? Right here. No, I didn't, I didn't do something right. Okay, here we go. It's on warm, and it's on low. We're gonna change the, span, the fan speed to high. Oh yeah, that jumps the wattage up. So I'm afraid to put it on high heat. Let me see how warm that is. I'll dry your hair, that's pretty warm. And you got high fan. All right, let's go down. Let's go down on speed and go up on temperature and see if you can get get it to work with high heat. Here we go. Take a look. So it really doesn't change the wattage that much. I'm on high heat. It doesn't really feel any hotter than medium. Let me turn it down. It's pretty damn warm, but I don't know if it changed that much on the heat. Sorry about that fan noise, but All right, I got it on high. High heat. Now I'm gonna go to high fan. We were a thousand watts earlier with uh, high heat and, uh, well, I don't know. Let's go, here we go. Will it sustain? There it goes, it quit guys, it quit. Couldn't take it. So drop everything down. Let me see if it'll uh, turn the AC button back on right here. And let's go back to cool and low. Okay, low wattage. All right, that's the fan speed. No heat. So if I keep it on low and go to warm, 500 watts. I'm gonna go to high heat and low. There's high heat. So you can run this hair dryer all day long as hot as it'll get, as long as you don't bump the fan speed higher. And believe me, that is not that warm. I got that thing right next to my hand. Let me uh, go back to medium. It's definitely warm, but it's not hot. Actually, that's hotter than it was on hot. So let me see if warm heat with high fan. That you can do. That you can do. But as soon as I go to high heat, I dropped it down, going up, boom, 
But if I come down, it, it see will last a second. All right, I'm on low fan and high heat. So you can do that, or you can go to high fan. with medium heat. All right, that concludes the test of the hair dryer. Okay guys, we got the next item up and that is my iron. And this is a titanium ceramic 1700 watts. So we already know what's gonna happen. It's not gonna do it. But uh, if you ever want a good iron, by the way, this thing is, uh, known to to be the best iron on the market it's got all these holes some irons don't have this many holes and it's a ceramic bottom and the name of it is um chi so if you ever want a good iron 1700 watts so let's see how fast it kills the jackery i got the tur power turned on hang on it's got a retractable cord too very nice Okay, it's plugged in, and then as you can see, it's off. You have to turn the dial here to uh, to select what it goes on. So, if you go to linen, like synthetic, I think is something that wouldn't be that warm. Whoa, whoa, that jumped right up. So let's go to uh, cotton or linen. Yeah, it's gonna kill it. Cotton goes even higher, wool. Yeah, these are all gonna kill it. Silk. It's gonna kill it. And synthetic. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill my uh, they usually run for about 20 seconds and then they shut off. Yeah. I clean this thing. Okay. Huh. The light's still on. Does that mean it's still on? On synthetic. Yeah, it didn't kill it. So it might go through an initial charge. Hang on, let's let's see what happens. I got it on silk now. That wouldn't be a very high temperature, right? For silk. Cotton and stuff is much higher. But let's see if this will calm down. Has it turned the iron off? Keeps boosting up. Ooh, that's on silk. The fan shut off on the inverter, but the, 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 the it's hot. The iron is working. So let's go to the next level. To wool. That's probably gonna require a lot more watts for a longer time and kill this thing. Oh, it's shut down. Are you kidding? Well, what takes 1700 watts continually? All right, we're gonna to go to cotton. See, everything is still on. If it kills it, the, the unit would would shut off. All right, I'm going to go to uh, cotton now. Okay. Now that's going to require some heat. And for longer than that, 
1,000 watts going to allow. There you go. Hmm. I don't know. Still on. I never use anything but cotton on here. So let's just wait a second and see what happens. It doesn't make any sense, okay? Like the coffee pot, it like goes intermittently to keep the heat going. It doesn't just keep putting it out where it turns on fire. <laughs> so I think you can use it. But the hair dryer was continuous, so those are a, those are a killer. But like the uh, coffee maker, like I say, this is intermittently uh, needing heat. See if it kicks back on. Because I mean, nothing has turned off yet. This would be good to know. Yep, there it goes. And even though this is a, a 1000 Jackery, it didn't even last at 1500 watts for more than a second there. And that thing is hot, I can assure you. Now maybe the iron is turning off and not staying hot, I don't know. But anyway, that's enough testing the iron. I doubt we're gonna be doing any ironing off grid. Well guys, you can see me in the reflection there. This is my 55 inch smart TV. Uh, where's my remote? Right when you need it, when you make a video, here we go. So <clears throat> let's uh, let's plug it in. Let's unplug it from the wall and plug it into the Jackery. All right, everything is on there. Let's turn the TV on. Boom! What happened to the wattage? Eighty-three watts. TV is on, and we don't have to make this test very long because this is nowhere close to going to quit. So we can watch TV. Heck yeah! Let me just show you. Make sure here. Uh-oh, what happened? Nothing happened. All right. YouTube. Let's see what the watts are. Oh, it's bumped up a little bit. 110. Let's see if it changes when I actually, uh, you know, have it playing. There's Sarasota Tim. My channel. All right, let's play a, a Death Valley video here. TV's playing. What are people saying about Zach's new 110 watts. So good. So good. So good. Okay. So good. Got one of those commercials going there. So this works. End of this test. So that's going to conclude the uh, testing. I just wanted to uh, end by saying that I was right at 80% uh, battery. Uh, doing those tests with the uh, hair dryer, the coffee maker, the iron, the fans, and uh, the television. So we lost 12% uh, in just, you know, a few minutes on those, uh, those heavy duty items. So you probably wouldn't get very long life, you know, um, running the hair dryer for sure. But still, it'll certainly work, and you can just recharge it. All right, guys, thanks for viewing the video.